Hey guys, it's Obstan. Today, welcome to episode 9 of my Arsenal Career Mode series. And in this episode, we are going to be finishing off the BPR season. So by the end of this episode, you will see if we manage to win it or not. But while the gameplay is going on in the background, I just want to quickly talk about my plans for FIFA 15 with Career Mode. Because Career Mode is a very brand new thing to my channel. I never used to do it in the past. And I just want to quickly talk to you guys about what I'm planning to do with it in FIFA 15. As I'm sure most of you guys probably already know what I'm kind of going to be doing with training in FIFA 15. You know, like training. 100k that kind of stuff but as I said with training being no new you probably don't really know too much so the start of FIFA 15 when it comes out and that's the early release first of all I'm gonna be doing a career mode with like Arsenal or Chelsea some pretty big team in the BPL I would love to do Arsenal as I'd be really passionate about it, as I love the club I, I know where Arsenal needs to make improvements who we need to sell that sort of thing so it'd be a lot more interesting but I do realise that MGH will probably do an Arsenal career mode, so I'm not sure whether I should do Arsenal, but I would absolutely love to do Arsenal. But we'll talk about that when we get closer to FIFA uh, 15. I might do like a straw poll or something in a video and ask you guys to vote. But also, what we plan to do after that, I'm going to be doing a career mode with a lower league side. And my objective will basically be to take them from League 2, for example, to the Champions League and to win the Champions League, that sort of thing. Kind of like a road to glory sort of thing in career mode. Uh, take a lower league side to the BPL and win the Champions League. So I'm not sure what team I'm going to pick just yet for that. I might do York City or, you know, Burton Albion or someone like that. Um, I think it'd be really fun. And, you know, after I've obviously done the Arsenal career mode, it'd be something good to do for the rest of FIFA with career mode and bring, like, some really, really long career mode series. Because what I've seen is the big, long career mode series that seems to do really well. And especially when you do one with lower league sides, as not many people uh, really expect to see that. And it's something a little bit different and it's a bit more of a challenge. So that's what I'm planning to do with career mode. I'm not really sure about tutorial videos. Might bring out the odd one or two, but I'm not really gonna be doing that too much because obviously I got a lot of training tutorials to put first before actually career mode videos. So you know, career mode is kind of like behind training in um, my uh, basically my importance value. If that makes any sense, I definitely value training more than career mode on my channel. But I do want to try and incorporate the two and hopefully build a career mode subscriber base. But that is pretty much my plans for FIFA 15 with career mode. You know, do a big career mode with a team like Arsenal. Then do a career mode with a lower league and power league two side and take him to the Champions League. So that's my kind of goals of it. Um, the length of the uh, big team, like the Arsenal career mode, would be about two seasons or so. So my objective would probably be like to win the Premier League and then also the Champions League after that. And that's basically how I'm going to go with it. But uh, here you guys can see, we come up against Chelsea. Now this is a really big game because we're kind of catching up to Manchester City a little tiny bit. We're kind of dropping off, if I'm honest, but we had to go and win this game. Now, as you probably remember, we did, of course, recently just beat Chelsea in the Capital One Cup. So I was kind of full of confidence going into this game. But looking at their team, you know, it's really solid. Luis Suarez, Eden Hazard. So my confidence levels were not kind of too high. But they had the first chance, Luis Suarez took a shot and kind of rebounded to him. There's nothing he could do about him. And it was a pretty good chip over my goalkeeper and that made it Chelsea nil. So Chelsea won Arsenal nil in the 50th minute. And Chelsea from the corner, Luis Suarez got his head in it and poor position from Szczesny. Poor goalkeeping overall and that made it Chelsea 2 nil. And it was soon 3 nil, Luis Suarez getting his hat trick. So this is kind of turning into a bit of a romp. You know, they're making it 4 nil right here. William gets the goal. So, is this going to be 6-0 again? Please, God, no, not again. But no worry, Mertesack got a goal back. But it was just basically a consolation goal, in all, in all honesty. We kind of lost the game pretty much in the first 20 minutes after going 3-0 down. It didn't really go too well for us. And that's pretty much our title challenge kind of dumped in the bin, if I'm honest. So, that's really annoying. But so, we've got a squad report right here. And a few players have actually gone up. Um, Urzo's now 89. Sanchez is now 85. And look at the league table. You see here, we are now, what was that, like 14 points by Manchester City with a game in hand. And we've got like seven games left. You know, it's not looking too good for the title. So, at this point, I pretty much resigned defeat. I didn't think we were going to win the title. So, I decided to just sim the remaining of our games to see where we get. So, we come up with a 3-1 win against Everton, first of all. Next up, we got, we got a home game against West Ham, which I decided to sim. And that's 5-0. And then Manchester City at home. Probably should have played this game, but I simmed it and we managed to win somehow. 3-1. So, 9 points out of 3 games, which is really good. And so, Aston Villa in the FA Cup semi-final, we won 4-0. So, now in the final of the FA Cup. 
1-0 against Spurs away. Sanchez getting a goal. Next up, we've got Newcastle 3-1 at home, which is also really good. Two goals from Benzema. Next up, West Ham 3-0 and Ozil hat trick. That's quite surprising. We came up against Hull City and uh, we basically went off with a yellow card first of all to Kim Reed, which isn't the best of starts. In this game, I decided to play a weakened team because my team is quite tired from the previous matches. And Remy got himself a goal. Now, it's quite interesting, you know, Remy's my backup striker when he was top scorer at Christmas. So, it's quite interesting to see him being my uh, my backup. And in all hindsight, you know, I'll probably say Remy was a lot better than Karen Benzema. I just personally didn't enjoy Benzema's play. That's just my personal opinion. But we did win 2-0. Walcott getting a second goal. Yelovich missed the pen, but, you know, I'll take it. And you can see right here, we are now two points behind Manchester City. So, we do have a small chance of winning the title. But Manchester City are playing West Ham on the final game of the season. So the hope is very, very small. But we're coming up against Burnley away at Turf Moor. So a relatively easy fixture to end the season off. And all we can really do to help our title challenge is to win. Because, of course, it is in Manchester City's hands. If they win, if they draw, they're pretty much going to be title champions. And uh, we had a great chance here. Wilshere was put through pretty much on goal in the 33rd minute. And he showed some great composure to make it Arsenal 1. Burnley nil. So we have now got our goal, and as long as we hold on now, we are going to, of course, you know, win the game. And it's a lovely goal once again by Jack Walsh. And that was how the game finished. Now it's time to see after this to see if Manchester City did win, if they lose, or somehow West Ham pulled off a miracle. Uh, we're just going to have to see. But you know, one nil, of course, it finished. But you can see West Ham lost. To Manchester City 4 0. So, unfortunately, we are not going to win the title this season, which is really, really annoying. But we have got an FA Cup match to play against Manchester City, which is going to be the final game of this whole series. And that's going to be in another episode. So, smash the like button if you want to see that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Yep, see you guys.